Hey Claude Hoppers, how you doing today? Today's been pretty good for me. Uh, got busy doing stuff around the house, uh, getting it cleaned up. Also went to a ta uh, town. I also went to a town about an hour away to a Lowe's to get a hot water heater that they had in stock because the closest Lowe's did not have it. And that's the spe uh, that specific one is the one we wanted. So I had to do that. It's supposed to rain tomorrow so I didn't want to pick it up tomorrow in the rain uh, but I do want to show you a hen that's been acting a little strange uh, the last couple of days it was probably the one that was out for a couple of days the egg that we got yesterday was probably also from her because I think she's stressed for some reason and I'm not exactly sure why but I'll show you the hen and um, show you what she's doing so here's the hen that's actually acting like she's stressed um don't know what's going on with her earlier today she was keeping her eye closed just trying to see what's kind of going on and she's being standoffish she doesn't want to be with the flock she also um hasn't been eating much, which is really weird. Uh, whenever I give them food, she hasn't been coming down. And today she stayed up in the, up there pretty much all day. So I don't know what's going on with her. Maybe she got attacked while she was out and about and she's just nervous about everything. Or when she got back, maybe our rooster really was um, being mean to her because she was gone for so long. Who knows? Um, but for some reason she's um, acting a little stressed now she could also be the lowest one on the totem pole and so the other hens may be picking on her too she i think she's the one that usually when we released the the hens she would hop over the fence and basically be on the other side away from all of the chickens as much as she could so i don't know it's just weird what's going on so Anyways, just want to let you guys know something that's going on here and just trying to figure out what's going on with her and figuring out what's what to do. So So as you see, I just gave some hay to the goats. Um, they ate on a little bit, but they went back to their feed because they like that a lot better than hay. Um, but they will eat on that hay um, pretty good. Now, as you probably saw when I had the bag over there how, how full it was. This is how much I have left. I probably gave about a third. I probably gave about a third of the bag, maybe a little more. Um, but that's what we've been trying to do whenever we give them this hay. Um, we only give it give them enough to sustain them for a day and then um, we can give it to them later and you uh, spread out the hay um, throughout the winter um, even though it has warmed up some um, but I think next week it's supposed to get a little bit cooler again and then go back up and then go back to cooler and then back up for it'll the temperatures will be that way for at least February I'm not exactly sure about March we'll have to see as the forecast comes out because uh, we don't know that far out yet so okay so I do want to mention something about that well summer that I showed you she is not showing any signs of actually being hurt other than her eye being closed um, just randomly and it's just kind of interesting that there's not really any visible signs of, of actual pain other than that the eye being closed that I can tell and her being isolated from the flock um, because she's isolating herself from the flock. So just wanted to uh, give you that tidbit of information that I forgot to mention earlier.
subscribers. Thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button. Also, the bell so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages, too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all.